Hello everyone, Simon here. We're playing Fallout Tactics and we have two suits of power armor. Yes. So I've given the second suit of power armor to Robin because he has higher perception. So I think that means he is more accurate. Although he doesn't have bonus range damage yet. Should be okay though. Let's go talk to General Decker and see what amazing things he's gonna send us to do this time. At ease, warrior. I have mixed news to give. A Reaver delegate arrived earlier today, bringing news that a large robot force has all but annihilated the main Reaver camp in Newton. The Reaver's numbers have been devastated by relentless attacks and will soon be destroyed unless we intervene. Normally, the Brotherhood would gladly allow one enemy to destroy another, but the Reavers have something to offer. The Reaver movement has developed a new type of weapon based on robot pieces that they've been able to scavenge. This weapon is called an EMP device and it has a devastating effect on electronics. It is this weapon that is allowing the Reavers to survive a mass robot attack, but for them, it is still too little, too late. They have agreed to give the Brotherhood both a prototype of this weapon and instruction on its workings in exchange for rescue of their four highest ranking officials in Newton's Junk City. This might be the edge we're looking for against the robots. Bring back that prototype, brother. You will be supplied with a map to Newton. Rendezvous at the extraction zone with all four elders, and they will be transported via APC and armored escort back here. Dismissed. All right, so this is the mission where we get a tank which is not as useful as you might think because the tank shells aren't very effective against the robots but it's kind of interesting I guess so we have to rescue four Reaver leaders and basically shoot a lot of robots let's see how this turns out There's still reavers on the on the random encounters in the uh, map. All right, come on. Maybe if it, if it didn't like pause two seconds before showing the menu, like it flashes and it pauses a few seconds. What's this? A special encounter? What are these guys doing? Oh, it's this. Oh no, are they, are they aggressive? They're aggressive. You've got to be kidding me. They're aggressive. If you're wondering, they're defending against Canadians. Whatever that means. Alright, well, let's kill them. Maybe if we met them earlier, they would be... a minor threat. Nah, who am I kidding? Defending against Canadians. And you do have to kill them, because they're next to the exit. That was almost a waste of ammo, to be honest. Oh, but well, there's this though, the water gun. I don't even want to take this stuff. I guess I'll take the water gun and the acid. So this thing sprays acid, which it's a novelty weapon, not that not that useful. I'm just gonna leave this stuff because it's kind of like a waste of space. I'll take the skill book. And uh, I guess that's it. There's another one where there's the uh, K-1 
Canadian invasion reenactment. For a bunch of people just reenact the invasion of Canada. So what's this called? Canadian invasion, yeah. Alright, well let's keep going. All right, Newton. At ease, warrior. So I heard that before. We start here. This is your extraction point. Rendezvous here with the four elders to complete your mission. Chief of Medical Division is barricaded in this building. The Ambassador is barricaded in this storage building. The Research Laboratory is located here. The General and his bodyguard are inside this old nuclear cola plant here. The barracks for the Reaver base is located here. I don't remember which way we should go. There's uh, robots everywhere, as you might imagine. I think I usually come this way first for some reason. I don't know if I should stick to that. Like, it's quite complex. I look at all these uh, walkways and planks and and buildings stacked on top of buildings. So the, the terrain is very complicated in some parts of this map. And like these multi-story buildings here. So uh, it's gonna be complicated. Let me check the crate. The crate gives us nothing. Alright, Simon and Robin, I guess we should walk forward. Dead Reaver there. Ah, uh, the tank is there. So there's spider bots in this area. Oh, like that. And they move rather fast, and they do have rather a lot of hit points. And when they get close, they start cutting you. Which is not very nice. This might turn out poorly for us. Maybe we should run back. Let me run back. Yeah, this might go poorly for us. Let me reconsider my actions. Let me go back. Who do we shoot at? Somebody shot at someone. Simon shot at something. Now I'm gonna bring these guys closer. Switch to plasma weapons. Switch everybody to plasma weapons. And uh, walk forward. Alright, that's a bit better. So, what we want to do here is make sure that everybody is firing. Because otherwise, they, they're too fast, right? In fact, this thing might just start cutting me right now. Yeah, like that. You don't do much damage, but. They do a bit of damage, so they can like walk that far in one turn, and the next turn start hitting you. Yeah, I need to be really careful about those. And they don't carry any loot. No. So this place, I believe, is full of them. The question is uh, whether we come in here. Somebody, okay, that guy just shot at me. Far sight.
Stein can't hit a Mandy. Mandy can't hit him neither. Where is Stein and Mandy at the at the front? Well, let's end turn. I don't think the robot can hit me from that distance. No, it's not gonna move. Alright. Wow, it's still alive, amazing. Okay. In combat. And back to plasma weapons. And continue looking for spider bots. So you really can't detect them. They always ambush you. So you always walk up and then they jump out of the ground and, and ambush you. There's no other way to to find them. Actually there's a reaver there. What is he doing? So there's a reaver here, interesting. Oh, there's a bunch of them, I see. I guess they're trying not to die, they're sneaking and they're unhurt. Who's that guy? Alright, so there's a bunch of reavers in this corner of the map. Not that it really matters because they're not going to do much. And there's really no enemies here, are there? Maybe the idea is that they're trying to hold off these guys, the robots, at this end of the uh, of this area. As we continue to find spider bots. The problem is that they don't drop ammo, right? And so we're just spending ammo and getting nothing in return. Except for a little bit of experience. What did this guy have? Oh, ammo. Let me just take that. Ah, uh, Nothing's here, I don't think. So the first building... Maybe I should get into these buildings and start clearing them out. So what's going on here? Not much. Alright, well I guess we've cleared out this area of the map. Let's come over here, I suppose? I think there might be robots back here. There's an alarm, but I don't think the alarm does much anymore. Um, okay. Kill this. Ooh. A tank bot. We might need to be careful with this one. It's got a lot of health, and it just kind of rolls up. Although I don't think it can fit through this gap here. Maybe it'll come back through here. I don't think it can fit through this gap. We'll see. Actually, I think it's going to be stuck there. Alright, well, I guess it's stuck there. Simon? Try and draw it this way. There's a tank bottom in there. Oh, is that where it went? Alright, the tank bot went back there. There are multiple enemies inside this building here. There's the tank bot, and it is damaged after taking all those shots. It's severely damaged. So, uh, you can see the tank bot has a lot of hit points. Oh, crap. Wait a minute, who shot me? This guy? Oh crap. And then it starts flailing you. So this is a bad idea. I might reload this. I regret 
this course of action, yes. <laughs> the tank bot has a lot of health. And then further in... There's that thing. Which doesn't really do much damage. Well, I guess, you know, if we're lucky, the rocket doesn't do much damage. Oh, I can't hit him 2%, really? Wow, Mandy's pretty bad. Okay. Um... Yeah, tank bot. Not sure what to do. I don't know if we can fit through there. Oh, crap. Let's go save game. Let's see if I can take one shot and run away. Maybe I need to... do aim shot on uh, weak points. Okay, so it gets stuck on the geometry there somehow. Which is fine by me. I mean, I have no qualms about abusing the geometry. Interesting. Why can't I see it? Why can't I see it? Okay, now I can see it. Uh, everyone else overwatch. And it remains stuck on geometry, which is good. Uh, huh. It's got a lot of health. Look how much health it has. Insane amounts of health. It's still almost destroyed. Okay, now it's destroyed. I think there's still one more tank bot inside. Alright, let's reload everything. Save the game. So there's still more hover bots and tank bots in here. There's a hover bot right there. Simon hit hover bot really hard, I don't see it. Alright, oh, I shot a hover bot. Hover bot. Okay, I shot it again. It also hit me for 6 points of damage. I mean, if you look at how much damage the rockets do to, to power armor, that's how much damage the... Uh, about how much damage the rockets do to robots. So uh, rockets are kind of pointless against them as well. Alright, there's more security bots. Okay, the hoverbot killed itself. Save the game. I'm concerned about this hoverbot. It's quite close to us, right? It's got a pretty good chance of hitting us. Although it only did 5 points of damage. That's seven points. Um, I guess that's okay. All right, so there's only one tank bot in here, which is good news. And we destroyed a bunch of hover bots. There's dead reavers everywhere. 
And I don't think there's anyone out here. Nope, just the tank. You can't really drive the tank anyway. You can't fit it through there. You can drive it this way. And that's blocked off. So you can only leave with it. You can't really do anything else with the tank. Alright, let's go upstairs. I think the, um, the Reaver boss is supposed to be inside. We might see enemies when we get upstairs. Nope, never mind. Let's see, there's a robot there waiting to ambush us. We're in close quarters, so we're gonna switch to plasma gun. There's two robots, one on each side. Let me move over here. Robin? Open the door. He's got a browning, doesn't he? I think he does. I think he has a browning. Um... Run this way, run back. Hmm. They're too slow. Run this way, run back. They're too slow to respond. Uh, oh, I can open the other door from the other side. Alright, let me just do this. Save the game. Go over to the other side. 